بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين شفيع من المؤمنين الصادق الأمين محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في بسيدنس دي ليرنرز تدري إن شاء الله تعالى وي شال ديل ويد أني توبيك إن ذا كورس برايز أوف ريبل أكثر باسينج سم سيشنز سم كلاسز أباوت سيفرال Aspects and topics in the course of the Rise of the Nubu. As you remember, we had more than uh, one session about the aspects of the Nubu uh, done or created by Ian Foster. This great uh, 20th century novelist okay, had several uh, lectures on the Nubu, about the Nubu, okay, from the perspective of a novelist, not from just any person. Okay. Then uh, our example is Dan Duke with one of the uh, great examples, uh, a novel. This novel uh, shows or presents, yes, the, the rise of the novel, the beginning of the novel. So it is Robinson Crusoe. Okay. Just to quickly to remind you if we need, uh, need to understand it. Okay perfectly about the novel, we need to understand ideas about the novelist. If we also want, want to need uh, to understand about the uh, novelist, we need to know something about what, about his age, his society, his circumstances in general, okay? What kind of life he lived, okay? Or he lives. What education, what production, okay? Uh, around him in his age and concerning with what with himself with his production in the film. Uh, I remember that we uh, had uh, concerning Daniel Devo and Robertson Crusoe as an example in this course and introduction. After that, uh, biography of the author of Daniel Devo himself. Okay. Then we went through the uh, plot, comparing the plot of the novel and also. Realizing and remembering what E. M. Forster has mentioned about the plot in his what in his lectures. Today, our main point is what is the characters. As you know, there are several characters in every story, short or long, novella or novel. There might be uh, several uh, numbers of uh, the characters. Some of them are very important, some of them are less important. All of them in general, they are important because each character has his own, has his or her own role or uh, activity to be done in this or within the, the novel. Today, as you know, we have two important characters. And some others, they are called minor characters. The most important characters, or the major characters we need to understand are the, uh, the hero, the protagonist of the story, Robinson Crusoe himself as a character, which the, the novel is named by or after his name. The second one is Friday, and Friday has a a purpose in uh, calling him with this name. Okay, we, we need to know know that or realize it. Some others are major characters like this first one, which we have here, captain, okay, of the uh, Guinea trading ship. This character has no specific name. The writer Daniel Devo, when he made him. He made him without, without real name, just with a title, as a captain of a trading ship in a place, Guinea, a name of an island or similar like that. Who is this one, captain, a uh, trading ship? As you know, look through reading, we need to get some ideas. Here we have, as Crusoe arrives in London, he meets the captains of a ship sailing to this island, Guinea. When the two men 
and grow close became closer. Okay. Crusoe decided to accompany them. Okay. The events went in a good way. Continued? No, let's see. Sadly, the man passes away on the way to Guinea. Who is he? This captain. The captain breathing ship. He died. So the uh, what we call the responsibility of him is having a sort of link, a sort of yeah, good relationship, a link for a while. Okay? Yeah. Next one is the widow of the captain or the captain's widow. What is her role? Sometimes there are characters are mentioned okay, by others. And their role is not active. It can be passive. By what? By mentioning of others. What we mean? We mean that some characters, they are, they are passive or they are absent of the screen. Absent of the play part of the novel. Who is she? What we knew about her? This uh, widow of the captain. One of the two significant female characters in the novel is the widow of Cruz's companion. Companion means friend, which we talk about in this one. The captain of the uh, Guinea breeding ship. She watches his money and acts as his representative in London because she is a reliable, body, reliable person, reliable character. One of the most important ideas we need to realize that she watches his money. It means that she takes care of, of his business. This lady has good ability in dealing with, with their business. These obligations fit the gender rule that control the financial center of London. By whom? By ladies. But not any lady. Some ladies who have what we call charisma of controlling, charisma of dealing, charisma of managing. This uh, widow of the captain is one of them. Okay. Investors in the Bank of England, also known as the Lady of uh, Thread Needle, Thread Needle Streets, a name called Thread Needle Streets, connected with the, with the street, okay. included both men and women. So here are the ideas, little ideas about these two minor characters. Captain okay, of a Guinea trading ship and his wife after his death. Okay, his wife sadly to say that she became a widow. Next one, next character is the comrade in Hull. Again, the same that like the first one, he has no real name. Or we readers, watchers of the action, we have no idea about his real name, just by titles. Hmm? Comrade in Hull. So who is this person? What we know about him? Let's read. In Hull, Crusoe runs with a friend who offers him a vacation in London. This acquaintance stands for both a life of adventure and youth of the English commercial elite. So there are two directions connected with that, with what, with the knowledge, with the acquaintance. Within Caruso, the first one is adventure. The second thing is commercial okay, activity within what, within the, the high class, the elite. With his aspirations for a life at sea, he motivates Caruso. When we say with his aspiration for a life at sea, who is he? The comrade in Hull. Okay. He has what he has, uh, what he could. Attraction to go uh, having an adventure on the sea. As the same as Crusoe, as the same as Robinson Crusoe, that we know from the, his story, and the story is taken from the writer, the writer's idea, from uh, Daniel Defoe, that he himself has what we call a hint or an indication about 
trade about commerce okay but not any commerce or not any trading no trading by traveling by voyaging searching here and there from a continent to another from, from a place to another of course there might be what facing difficulties or danger okay with his aspiration with the life at sea he motivates cruiser to, to have the same to have the same point then next one next character is the father of one of the comrade okay in the first point we had the, the captain of the trading ship and his wife or later the widow now we have the comrade or comrade with what with his father okay we notice so far that the rule of each one is what is mean is not that great role to affect the plot of the story okay they are what they are supporters they are helpers well what we know about this uh, new character the comrade's father let's go the first ship cruise takes to uh, Yarmouth where he goes to rest is captain by the comrade's father clear when his pal when his friend informs his father that Cruz served as, as a sailor abroad the ship, the father advises Cruz to give up sailing, not to continue, to stop, hmm? the point, to stop going as a sailor. Why? There might be reason or reasons. There might be a reason or reasons. Sailing, voyaging. Okay, on the sea, whatever the circumstances, what whatever the what we call the apparatus connected with the ships, with the commercial ships, difficulties and danger are what are revolving around for any reason. Okay. The comrade's father looks a lot like Cruz's dad. So advising him. Not to go, uh, not to continue, not to uh, go ahead, but to give up, to stop, like his father, like the father of Paul, of Crusoe himself, who tried to prevent him from, uh, from, from sailing or from voyaging or from leaving England, okay, for what, for the purpose of commerce outside or abroad. Okay, it is what you call a comparison. We can realize, we can understand it. Okay, the, uh, the character of Cruz's father is not known or is very minor one, but it has what you call traces in, what, in, the, in the action of the novel. Why? Because it is related to uh, Cruz himself. Both of them are traditional means. The fathers, we speak about what about the two fathers who fear change and the change okay, on the sea, on the ocean is proper. They believe that a man's fate is predetermined from birth. It is a sort of what we call perspective, opinion, created by the writer, by the people. We can say yes, it is predetermined, but also the person is what is the, the responsible of his or her what you could be a decision. Right? Yeah. Even if it is predetermined, why to stop? If you have the ability to travel, to uh, collect wealth properly uh, in a valid way, what prevents like that? Now we move to the to the main character, to the most important character, or the protagonist, you can say the, the hero of the novel, he himself. The title of the novel is Robinson Crusoe, and the main character of what is Robinson Crusoe. What ideas we know about him? Yes, there are several ideas. Because he is a major character, the ideas are a lot, and 
uh, revolving around him from the beginning until the end. I am sure for those who followed with me the plot and the summary or the introduction uh, dealing with the elements or aspects uh, of uh, the characters would be what would be easier. Right? Yes, sure. The main character in Debo's fictitious uh, or and nature or untrue autobiography is Kurozu. Okay, what we know about him. He is an intrepid man who chooses to forego his family's aspiration and the restrictions of the English middle class in favor of a life at sea. So he break or he breaks the rules of what of the middle class uh, what we call habit or tradition or restrictions or aspiration. Uh, for his aspiration, he what you call went against the restrictions or the traditions. Okay, as you remember what we have mentioned about the uh, family of uh, Crusoe is a middle class family in, in Britain or in England. He is compelled to face his fear of being alone in order to withstand the severe de uh, demands of his lonely and isolated existence after a horrific shipwreck of which he is the only survivor. Look to this, what you call central sentence. This is a central sentence. Uh, people tell ideas we can get from this sentence. Crusoe is compelled. Compelled, if we remember what? If we remember the predetermined. Determined, okay, from birth. So it is what? Like, it is a destiny. It is fate. But do we believe in, in it uh, totally? No. There is what? There is a choice. There is a choice, and according to the choice, there is what we call consequence. The consequence is built upon the choice of each one, he or she. And for Crusoe, he is compelled to face his hair. Okay. Why? For being alone. Why? Because he chose. He decided to do so. In order to withstand the, sphere, the severe demands of his lonely and isolated existence for years, for 26 or 28 years after a horrific shipwreck, okay, of which he is the only survivor. Here we have what we call the uh, intellectuality, the skillfulness, the masterfully of, of Daniel Debo. If there are interesting points, these interesting points are done because of what? Because of the writer, not because of the character. The character is what is doing huh? the plan of the writer. So it is what? It is the intellectuality of Daniel Defoe to make it like that, to make a horrific shipwreck. The survivors, <laughs> there is only one, not so survivor, but only one survivor. Okay. He is Professor Cruz. And to stay alone, to live alone, isolated, in an isolated island, in an uninhabited island. Okay? Crusoe is not a bold man by nature. But after that, he has to face his life. He has to face the difficulties. He eventually, look at the beginning and eventually, he eventually overcomes his worries as his reasoning becomes sharper, hmm? sharper, yeah, because of that, looking to life, either to die or to live. If he decides to live, he has to do something about living, okay? He has to create what we call encouragement inside him and to follow his living. Otherwise, that would be what would be the result. As it is said here, in fact, he travels the island for a while without any weapons. Just what? Just uh, walking. When we say like, like a picnic, to, to, to be familiar with what is going on, to be familiar with the 
أيوة أن knowing it deeply from his travels on side the island he gains knowledge in a wide range of skills yeah travel in general is a great benefit for vendors including how to make an axe a big bread and construct a complex shelter these are what these are very important to make something to defend yourself to defend himself, I mean, we, we speak about Crusoe, sometimes we speak about you, we mean the person we are speaking about. To make an axe, okay, as a weapon to defend himself, okay, bake bread. Without bread, without eating, will he, will he lie, lie? Will he continue living? Will he survive? No, the opposite will be. And also, the weather, day and night. Okay, weather and climate, with a different but with different aspects and concerns. Winter, summer, spring, autumn, and what have you? Many things. So he has to find what shelter. So he has to, he must construct a shelter. This shelter to be what as strong as possible, to be complex for himself. Complex means strong to protect him from what from danger from any unexpected danger okay he's alone but will he live alone nobody knows so far he has to expect danger and accordingly he has to what he has to protect himself uh, through what through making this through a strong or complex shelter or house or a fort it is called like what like fort he attacks, okay, marauding cannibals and thieves, uh, frees their hostages when confronted by them. He is finally able to reintegrate into uh, English life upon his return to London, where he even gets married and starts a family after 28 years. Why we make it as short as that? Because the many detailed points they are mentioned in the plot, they are mentioned in the summary, they are mentioned in the introduction. Now we are what giving a uh, terse uh, details or ideas about the person in general. The other aspects, how he uh, started to build, how uh, he lived with, with some animals, then how he met uh, Friday, how he secured him, saved him, okay, and faced some what we call cannibals through uh, attacking uh, other enemies. It is not one day, one week, one month, or a year. It is decades of years, almost more than two decades in this uh, uninhabited island. Many events, many events took place. Some of them they are uh, simple, easy, and some others are what frightening. Okay? The next character is Friday. And let's say that Friday is a name of a week, not a name of a person. I mean, rarely to find such famous name with this one. After Cruzo, we have the second name is Friday. By the name. By the name. So Friday is called uh, with, with this name because he was first met with Cruzo on Friday. Cruzo saved Friday a native. So he, he is a native from the original land. So uh, Crozo is not native because he, like what, like invented the the island by chance, of course. Okay, the in, the native is what is Friday, and the boy later becomes his devoted servant. Friday is a boy. Later on, he, he became like not only a, a servant, but like a friend. I can say 
personally can see that he is what he's a friend uh, of Kurzu. He is referred to by Kurzu as a Kroll. What is it? An uh, amalgamation or among of African and Indian. Okay, Kroll. And this stands for the uh, untamed essence of the environment. Kurzu is able to peace his dread of the local natives uh, because of what? Because of his friendship with tribe. Yeah, now it is correct that the relationship with uh, Friday is more than just a, a lord or a master and a servant. No, it is like friends. There is what you call passion between them, sacrifice from one to another. Okay. When Friday offers to discuss religion or technology with Crusoe, Crusoe declines to benefit from his experience because, in fact, I, uh, I can say, I can guess that he himself has little of these topics. So he cannot go deeper with, 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 with Friday. For example, or for instance, Friday wants to teach Crusoe how to to burn out the inside of the boat when they start building one together. Crusoe, though, is a uh, dominant uh, adamant about employing the, the more time consuming hatched method, Crusoe's unwillingness to treat Friday equally serves as a metaphor for social or sweetal attitudes about the savage. The, the, the savage. Savage like cannibal, uh, the behavior of what of those people, of the original native people of, of, of uh, the, the tribes or the clans in the island. Either the, the, clan, the clan or the tribe of Friday or their enemies. They are what? Like savage. A comparison with what? With the savage in Europe. As we know that he is, uh, sorry, that uh, Crusoe is what is an open man. He is one of the, what you call, middle class member. Over time, Friday adopts English traditions and theological ideas and became more European. Because of what? Because of his love, his respect, okay, and his enthusiasm with what with crows. So he became what? He looked positively to the situation and neglected the bad behaviors or traditions he used to do or he used to have. Realizing those behavior or behaviors of uh, Crusoe are good, he start to imitate and to do the same until he became what, nearer to be the European than uh, savage or cannibal. He stands in for the colonization process. Here you can speak a lot about colonization and the process of colonization who is one who is getting benefit from the other okay yeah it is a political uh, what you call dirtiness I don't want to go through it just if we speak about that yeah in literary criticism we may do such what we call argument so the second major character is finished we have two characters Robinson Crusoe and uh, Friday. The others are called what you call minor characters. Again, minor characters doesn't mean that they are not very important, but they are what they are important. Okay. Next ones are Mr. and Mrs. Crozina. Crozina. I think uh, the pronunciation is okay because the, this word is not English. I guess. As we see here, as we read, it is what it is, German. Cruz's father is a German immigrant from the town of 
determine Mr. Kurutsina, a trade by trade, a trader by trader. Okay, a middle class trader has had his name changed to Caruso in England, so in, 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 German, in Germany, Kurutsine. Uh, but the, even the articulation is different. Okay, to be understood in Germany, but in England he has different. Even within us, within the, the Arabs, Kurutsu. Kurutsu, we can find something easier to our articulation or pronunciation. Okay, the father and Mr. Uh, Kruzny is a wise and grave man. Wise is okay. Grave man is okay again because of what? Because of wisdom in his mind. Experience or knowledge. Thinking about those who go traveling, voyaging, sailing. Many of them will not come back or would, could not come back. Okay, so wise and great man who begs Crusoe to abandon his dream of adventure and settle in England in a severe middle class and vocation such as law. To find a job, a profession to be respected, and law is what? A great profession. People look at lawyers with great respect and also of a good rank in the society. Again, with good income. So it is what? It is nice, secure, accepted position instead of what? Of the difficulties, of the danger that the person might meet in an adventure. And not any adventure, adventure on water, on the sea or ocean. Although his mother refuses to uh, intercede on Cruz's uh, behalf and win his father's approval, she does privately support her son. And this is the nature of a mother, any mother, of the mother. The mother, okay, loves her child even to push him to danger. If you want something, she cannot say no. Okay, thinking that uh, saying no is difficult, and saying yes, making the person okay happy. Here is the nature of what of the mother, any mother. Okay, so the mother of Crusoe is the proper woman. Mentioned at the conclusion, a dedicated worker who is not afraid to take chances. I mean, here what we have within what within the concept of the story. Another uh, character is what is Savage, the old Savage. One of the hostages saved by Crusoe and Friday is the old Savage, who turns out to be Friday's father. Okay, yeah. So it is known with what with the title, not with the name, with the title, the old Savage. He also swears devotion to Cruz because of what because uh, both of them uh, Cruzo first secured Friday and Friday with Cruzo uh, saved the father of Friday this old savage what is the reason there should be there might be respect there might might be love okay next one is captain Portuguese or Portuguese, Portuguese, Captain. I think the pronunciation is uh, not exactly. When we say Portuguese, we call uh, concerning our Arabic pronunciation, uh, Portuguese Captain. What we know about him? Crusoe is rescued from Africa by what by the Portuguese Captain's ship, who transports him to Brazil and acquires sorry another person he also helps Crusoe invest his money in profit and this means to develop it to improve it through what through the dealing or uh, connected with or 
connection, connecting it with what the commercial processes. Invest his money and serves as a father speaker to him. So he is lucky to find what more than one father. He is a trustworthy captain of his crew and vessel, and he diligently serves Crusoe. So Crusoe is, is what is lucky with what with this new gentleman, with the Portuguese captain. Again, we, we notice that the majority of the characters are what are named by titles, not by real names, or called by titles. They have no names. And the la and next one is what is the Spaniard? Again, Spaniard, the Spanish. One of the captives liberated by Crusoe and Friday is the Spaniard. The group is able to kill many of the cannibals after releasing him and giving him a weapon. The Spaniards proves to be a trustworthy individual, advising Crusoe to extend the plantation. Commerce, huh? revolving around commerce. One of the dreams of Crusoe is to make what? To make goodwill through commerce and making a, a plantation farm. Okay? Now he, he was supported by the Spaniards. The Spaniards' Roman Catholicism is unimportant to Crusoe. I mean, as traditional or religious uh, indication, Crusoe could not find himself comfortable. What matters is that the Spaniard has a strong work ethic and a strong sense of honor, like the Portuguese one. Like the Portuguese one. Not thinking about their beliefs, but thinking about their behavior, their, their work, and their achievements. Next character is Mr. Wells. Mr. Wells. He is, I think, uh, a first character to be what to be called by what by the name by his name. Mr. Wills is Cruz's Portuguese neighbor. His farm in Brazil is close to Cruz's. To the farm of Cruz, they are what they are neighbors in what in making that plantation. Cruz and Mr. Wills traded labor and aided each other when necessary. As was typical, typical practice among colonizers at the period. Yeah? Each one is in need of the other. Each one needs the other. So the, the, there must be what we call collaboration. Cooperation or collaboration. As a result, they become excellent friends and keep an eye on each other's affairs sort of cooperation. The best thing to be said about that is what they are both of them they are what? They are good people helping, serving each other, okay, in necessity or in necessary event. While Cruzo says stays on his island, Wells takes over control of his state. Wells depicts the plantation honor and etc. So it is what we call ability to depict the, the way of uh, I think let's say the commercial person, the trader has to, what has to be to be what? To be able to convince others. Has to have the faculty of depiction. Yeah, if, if you have goods and you need to sell them, you have to have good depiction for what for the customers. And Mr. Wills is that. So Mr. Wills depicts the plantation owner and settler. Is he the last one? I think, yes, we have the last character is uh, Zuri. Who is he? What we know about him? Zuri is a servant who is enslaved alongside Cruz. Fortunately, they are able to flee their uh, oppressors, like Friday. Zori naturally impresses the role of an obedient and adoring slave. 
Look, now with obedience, with adoration, okay, and this, these two concepts will uh, elide the person from being a slave into a friend. We look at it like that. Zori is a European's perception of the non-European, like Friday. He has stronger natural instincts. Good. Also, he is a natural hunter and high processor. Yeah, good qualities to help the person, especially in what? In an uh, isolated island. He can see better at night. Or day, both of them. He has what? A sharp sight. As Suri edicts the Portuguese ship, and his sense of self preservation is stronger. Suri offers to be sold into slavery in exchange for 10 years of freedom if he converts to Christianity. This is what it is the end of this, what you call terse or concise uh, summary on the characters of. Uh, Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Deep. I hope it is uh, sufficient, suitable. See you inshallah ta'ala and meet you in another coming session, another lesson, another subject. Wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.